Hey everyone, Tony George, the continuing series and a little bit of a discussion about the football season upcoming here as we're doing college football season win totals today, talking about the ACC in general quickly and then uh, a breakdown of the Louisville Cardinals. Um, one thing about it is, you know, in this day and age, I've been doing this for 30, 31 years. Um, so I came up in the era of boiler room operators, scamsters, ripoff artists, all that different thing. And I always avoided them. I was offered, I passed up millions of dollars actually getting hooked up with them when I had a, you know, my, with my brand and using my name and offers I had from all kinds of guys over the years. And, and nonetheless, nowadays that's kind of filtered out. Doc Sports being one of them, I think they're on the top of the heap. Been around 52 years for a reason. We don't do that, but never operated like that, any of those things. But there are certain uh, publications and individuals that I respect outside of the circle of Doc Sports, which is fine. You know, we've got the symbol of the 12 best cappers around, in my opinion, but that being said, I'm biased. But one thing I will share with you, if, if you don't have, obviously... In your arsenal of information, you need Phil Steele's book. This thing is unbelievable. Every year, Phil does a great job uh, with this uh, publication on, on all teams. And then I ran across something and I ordered it, uh, got it uh, two days ago, and have been reading it nonstop. If, right here, I did a tweet on this today. Pick six previews by this guy. I'm going to try and get him on a podcast here in the next week or so. I'm going to reach out to him. But I copied this on Twitter, at TGeorgeSports. And he's, I believe his Twitter handle is, I can't, I don't know how to pronounce that last name. Sienza, Brett Sienza. He is at Pick 6 Previews, at Pick 6 Previews. And 6 is S-I-X. You need this in your arsenal. This is a good read, a very deep dive Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I was shocked. Pleasantly surprised at how good this was. So, you know, it helps you when you're establishing power ratings. Like Brad Powers, I use, I religiously check out his power ratings every week. Um, you know, I utilize people in the industry. Back in the day, you couldn't respect anybody. Everybody was just scamming for money. You know. Texas play in Oklahoma, half the clients get Texas, the other half get Oklahoma. You call up the guys the next day that won and say, told you. And now we got a super lock of the millennium in the NFL. Another $500, what's it going to be? Visa, MasterCard, American Express. The, you older cats that have been around, you know what I'm talking about. You know, so it was very hard to kind of look up to and respect very few people. Coming up through this, I was hooked, lucky enough to get hooked up with Mike Lee and a couple others back in the late 90s, early 2000s that really helped bring me along. You know, some people I really looked up to, Mark Lawrence was another one. Um, there was you know, just a plethora of them. Maury Mosman, who was Doc Sports before he passed away, unfortunately, and his son took over, who runs the company now just as well, if not better. Um but nonetheless, um, I respect these publications. I suggest if you're going to be, you know, doing some handicapping on your own, you get them. Set yourself up with some good power ratings and some very good insights. That being said, let's talk about the ACC. Um, I've got this power rated at Florida State, number one, Clemson, number two, UNC, uh, North Carolina, despite having Mac Brown. Oof, can't win a big one. Uh, third, he's got a good team. Pitt, fourth, and I've got Louisville, fifth, and Miami, sixth. Now, a lot of people have Miami in front of um, Louisville, but you take a look at what Miami's done recently. I'm, I'm not impressed. I'm not impressed with their coach. I'm not impressed with their horrible cover team. Blah, blah, blah. Go down the list. Um, I think Florida State in this conference is going to surprise a lot of people this year. Clemson. Odds on favorite to win it, of course. Um, Clemson's got a hell of a defense. They're going to be an under team this year. Uh, their offense last year, as we all know, was very underwhelming. Until they fix that, I'm not high on them. I think Florida State's got 
and a good coach. I think they've got the tools and capabilities to win this conference this year. Now, some of those teams that we mentioned when we're taking a look at Louisville, Louisville, Satterfield's gone. Jeff Brom, favorite son, comes back in. Played quarterback at Louisville. He uh, coached at uh, Purdue from 2017 till last year. Um, he's inheriting an 8-5 and five team with 13 returning starters, and they may be better. He's bringing in uh, Jack Plummer from Cal, quarterback there, transferring in, he, who played under Brom, I believe it was three years up at Purdue. So, uh, not last year, but three previous years. He knows that offensive system. So, the learning curve to implement an offensive system, he brought most of his assistants from Purdue, including his brother, I believe his name's Brian, who's going to be the offensive coordinator, who also, I believe, played quarterback at Louisville. Um, I think that I think it's going to be a good team. And I think um, when we mention Florida State, Clemson, and North Carolina, they're not on the schedule. Yeah. They open up, you know, they got their four uh, preseason games, uh, Boston College, Georgia Tech, Indiana, Murray State. They're going to be 4-0 out of the gate. They've got a, a few games that loom large. Uh, Notre Dame. Um, they're at Pitt. Then they have their annual game with Kentucky. Remember last year, they were like laying three against Kentucky and got blown out. And trust me, Brom knows the rivalry. You know, that's an in-state rivalry. That's like South Carolina plays Clemson every year, SEC versus ACC. Same thing here. Battle of, uh, battle of blue and red. Um, so... Um, I think they're going to give, uh, I think they can get four wins after those initial four wins and probably one more. I think it's going to be a good team. I think it's going to be offensively, they're going to be good. Cunningham is gone. We bring in the kid who knows the system. You've got some uh, talented skill players back. Uh, defense is going to be, uh, you know, better than average. And um, you take a look at this thing six ways from Sunday, and I see a nine win team here. I think Brom's going to make a big splash. And this is a team where if you're favored three to five, six, seven points, I'll tell you right now, you better bring your A game when you play them because they're going to compete in every game. It's going to be a good football team. And with a very, very favorable schedule. Give me over eight wins with the Louisville Cardinals. Small minus number, nothing too big. Free pick, college football futures. Get over to DocSports.com. we got a free 60 bucks link, link in the description below for you. Or on the website, just website, just a tab in the upper left-hand corner. And, you know, get yourself hooked up with the football package this year. We're going to be dialed in like none other college and in my NFL program. Last couple of years, we haven't done well. That's changing. Totally revamp my staff, my information sources, my resources, and have worked as hard as I've worked in the offseason in 31 years, both in college and pro football. It's going to pay dividends. Put that 60 bucks towards the package. There's early bird specials over there. Get yourself hooked up.